Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is December 6, 2022. This is the morning Forex report where I take a look at the technicals that are driving the market uh, from a risk defining basis, from a bias defining basis. So let's start by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar. If we take a look at this uh, currency pair, some ups and downs and up uh, type of uh, price action, we are uh, moving off the high prices, as you can see. Uh, but uh, technically speaking, uh, what we did do in trading here today was find support against the 100 hour moving average. That's a blue line in this chart. Also against the November highs. These are the highs from the, the price of November. This is December 1st, where the market moved above that level and we traded above and below it uh, uh, so far this month, the first few days of the month. Uh, but we are we did find support against that uh, the low yesterday uh, the low from uh, earlier in November and we are finding support against that area here today as well as along with along with the 100 hour moving average so guess what the price needs to get below that area and to increase the bearish bias from a technical perspective it can't then the buyers still remain in control now having said that the uh, rise to the upside is uh, not necessarily all that impressive we couldn't get above the high price that we saw on Friday's trade at 105.436. The high price uh, fell short of that level. So, so there is uh, some reason to think that there's a, a battle going on here between this high right here and the 100 and the swing area right here uh, bet uh, between the buyers and the sellers. And we'll see which, uh, which, uh, which trader wins out. But if I were to give a bias, a bias defining and a bias control, uh, I would give it to the uh, buyers uh, on the uh, test, successful test of the 100-hour moving average and the swing swing highs from November. So uh, that's the euro versus U.S. dollar. Let's next next take a look at the dollar versus yen. And on the hourly chart here, what, what do we see? Well, we saw the price move uh, off of the 100-hour moving average here to the 200-hour moving average up here and back down to the 100-hour moving average here. Yes, the price did try a early dip dip in the New York session below that level, but could not sustain momentum and then reestablish support against the 100-hour moving average, currently trading at 136.32. So um, if I were to characterize this currency pair, I'd say it's neutral. Um, we uh, we moved in between what I call the goalposts, the goalposts defined by the 100 and the 200-hour moving average, and we're ping-ponging between those levels uh, with the support here and resistance here and support down here. So uh, buyers and sellers in this currency pair are battling it out and looking for the next uh, shove either to the downside or the upside. You might think that well we're down near the bottom here so that the uh, and, and we failed at the uh, top side right here so that the sellers might have more control. Uh, that is uh, that may be true but we do need to get and stay below the 100 hour moving average and maybe this 38.2 percent retracement at the 130 nice round 136 level as well to uh, increase that bearish bias to give the sellers more control. Uh, you can also uh, argue that uh, the dip buyers against the 136 level right here have risking a little to make potentially more than a little. That little might be up to the 50% retracement if you risk this amount by buying against that level and uh, uh, have the potential to make it up to the 50% retracement. You're making more than what you're risking. So that may be in play as well here for the uh, dollar versus yen. So uh, put, pick your poison. Buy the dip, sell the expensive, look for the break. Those are your options out here for the dollar versus yen. We'll see how things pan out. The stock market is a little bit um, mixed in trading here today, so not getting help from there. And the uh, U.S. interest rates are uh, trading lower lower here today. Um, so uh, that is a, a dollar selling bias uh, for the dollar versus yen. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, strong versus U.S. dollar next. And uh, if we look at the hourly chart, we are not uh, seeing a lot of um, clues either in either direction here. Uh, what we can say uh, really is there, there has been uh, some good good and bad for the uh, buyers, some good and bad for the sellers. Uh, the good for the sellers is that the price moved below the 100-hour moving average, but the bad for the sellers is that we couldn't get below the low from uh, yesterday's trade, nor get below the 200-day moving average, nor the 200-hour moving average. All these levels are in play. So uh, what, what did the market do? The pr price moved back to the upside here, and we moved above this um, this uh, swing area that I had earmarked uh, from going back last week uh, where the uh, price uh, found some support, support broke through that level, found resistance against that level, and then broke below it. And we tried to hold resistance through here and moved above that level, which should have triggered a move to the upside right here, 
but couldn't do anything and the market started to rotate back to the downside so you can see the the the, the problems here in the pound versus us dollar not getting much uh, support from either the buyers or the sellers so the buyers and sellers are trying to figure out which way it wants to go through here we'll see uh how the uh, markets de uh, develop uh, uh through the, through the day mm -hmm. but uh not a real strong technical uh view here from each of them with failures below the 100 hour moving average failures above the uh, swing area through here uh providing our little clues here in the short term for that uh, currency pair um if you were to if i were to give uh, maybe a, a positive or a negative uh, bias here being above all these moving averages this cluster of moving averages probably keeps the buyers a little bit more in control but once again that comes with the caveat uh, that we cannot or we we are not seeing a lot of uh, motion in the uh, major uh, to the upside as well uh finally let's uh, take a look at the aussie versus uh, us dollar before we finish uh we had the reserve bank of australia raise rates by 25 basis points and say that there's more down the road so that gave the uh, pair a little bit of a bid to the upside uh and away from the technical support that we saw yesterday at that 100 day moving average price moved down fairly sharply to the downside after making new highs all the way down to the 100 day moving average and found support buyers against that level the uh, price uh, then moved uh, higher in the australian asian session here after the rate hike and consolidated during the european session above and below the swing area through here uh, and the 50 percent retracement of the move up from this low to this high uh, but uh, it, when the market tried to move up toward the next key target being the 200 hour moving average what we do we found sellers against that retracement level also the 38.2 percent retracement came near that level as well so um uh, unable to get above the 0 0.6748 level uh has uh, helped to push the uh, price back to the downside into the swing area right here so um the higher on the day for the aussie versus us dollar but staying below the moving averages here despite the reserve bank of australia interest rate hike and promise that there is more to come so um is that uh, is that in favor of the sellers we'll see uh but uh, we do know our risk is defined against this area right here if the price were to go back above that level i would uh, look to get out so there you have it a look at some of the major currency pairs to start off your trading day my name is greg michaelowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now